Hi YouTube, it's Lena and I'm here today with empties. I didn't categorize this, this, them this time because I'm lazy, honestly. However, I will stick with the pattern of doing makeup first. As you can see, I have a lot of makeup today. All the full size and travel size in the middle and then the foil samples at the end. So let's get started. Sorry if I'm a little lethargic. I took some medication to help me sleep and it's kicking in, but I really wanted to get these filmed. So if I'm a little loopy, I apologize. Anyways, makeup, makeup, makeup. First we have the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Taupe. I used the majority of it up and then when I was going to use the last of it, because I had accidentally broken it at one point, it fell off into the carpet. So wasn't gonna finish that. But I finished enough of it up to feel like I got my money's worth. It does come with a spoolie on one end. That's very nice. I liked this. The color match was really good, if a little light, because I go kind of on the dark side with these wild hair colors to make sure that my eyebrows do not disappear into my face, because naturally they're like dark blonde. My roots aren't dark blonde, but my eyebrows are. It's kind of annoying. But the micro-ness of this made filling in my brows take a really long time. And I understand that some people like that. A lot of people like that, actually, because you can make, like, little brow-looking hairs. But I don't know how well you could tell, because my brows are done right now. I have little bald spots right here in my brows from too many years of plucking and waxing and stuff like that. Back in the early 2000s when teeny tiny brows were the thing rather than now so this makes it take a while to fill those in i did actually pretty li like it pretty well though so who knows i might repurchase at some point i would recommend that to anybody that wanted a tiny little brow pencil thingy like the anastasia beverly hills i've never tried that one but a lot of people say that this is a good dupe for that or the l'oreal one that's basically the same thing but like two bucks more have a powder. This is the Wet n Wild Coverall Powder. I did finish this. I love this. This is in the shade Fair Light. You can actually use this as... I actually have nothing to compare it to, so I don't know if it's good or not, but it worked for me as a powder foundation because it's not translucent at all. It is colored, and it's not thick, but it has potent color to it. So... I would definitely repurchase in the future. This is my holy grail, ride or die, whatever you want to call it. Excuse me. Um, face powder. I have some powders to go through right now. Some of them are actually getting kind of old. So I need to go through those first. But after I finish those, I will repurchase that. And it's only like $2.99, so it's even better. Here is the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara. This is the wand, and as you can see right here, the end gets clogged with product. And even when you like wipe it away, it's still kind of clogged. So for that reason, I don't really care for this. The formula is really good though, so I'm not the type of person who would use a different wand for mascara than the one it comes with, because I'm lazy. But if I wasn't that type, I might repurchase this and use a different wand. But that's not what I'm gonna do. So I would not purchase a full size of that. I have the Clinique Moisture Shirt CC Cream in light medium. This was way too dark for me and it was really dewy. So I would not even try to seek out like a fair light shade. Here is the NYX Butter Gloss in Apple Strudel. I did not use up so much of mine that you can completely see through it. There is that little hole right there in it. I really like these glosses, so I would totally repurchase in the future, just not right now because I have a lot of gloss. I got that one in an Ipsy bag, but I do own other ones. This is a Bite Beauty lip gloss in Strange Fruit. The color's really pretty, but this has a weird plasticky smell, and as people have told me, that's just how they smell. So I didn't really care for that. It did dissipate once it was on my lips after a while, so. But I don't need to spend that much on well, a pretty color, kind of a basic gloss formula. It's pretty sticky too. Next is a Revlon Lip Butter in Sugar Plum. And that is that right there. That is a swatch. I do have a backup of this because they discontinued the color. 
and I'm very glad I do because I love this color and I do like this formula. It is really moisturizing. I know it has a little bit of a slip to it, but if I wear a lip liner with it, it doesn't like move outside my lips or anything. So yeah, I, I would repurchase this formula and if I could repurchase this color, I would again and again. I, like I said though, I do have a backup, so I'm not without it quite yet. Whew. Here we have a Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield. I use this as a primer with sunscreen in it. So yeah, I really like this. Unfortunately, it is like $60 full size. I would probably never purchase. But if I needed to have just like two primers in my collection, this might actually be one of them because I do really like the sunscreen and despite it being, being silicone-y, I think it works with my skin. I have another mini BB cream foundation. This is the CK1 Calvin Klein 3-in-1 Face Makeup in Sand. The color was too dark for me. I really did like this though. It felt really nice on the skin and my face did not immediately eat it. However, I don't think this is a makeup line anymore. I don't think Calvin Klein does makeup anymore because I can't find it for sale anywhere but like eBay. Which sucks because they made really good shine lipsticks too that were kind of like lip butters that I did really like those. Ooh, I have my, not Maybelline, Benefit Gimme Brow. And that is what the wand looks like right there. It's teeny tiny. I really do like this, but it because it doesn't really fill in my brows, it just tints them to a nicer color. I would not purchase this because it is expensive for what it is. It's a tinted brow gel, and you can get those in a drugstore. And most of the ones in the drugstore have more than three colors. Not all of them, but most of them. I told you guys I had a lot of makeup. This is the Bare Minerals Moxie Lipstick and Get Ready. <laughs> yeah, it... It's so actually, it broke really easily. That's a swatch of it right there. This is a really pretty color and this is a really creamy, nice formula, but mine broke a while back and I've been fussing with it ever since because I really liked the color, so I was trying to put up with it. However, I would not purchase a full size of those because I would be scared they would break on me. Mo, could you not sit there and lick my legs like a weirdo? This is the Tarte Tartiste Lip Liner in Later Gram. Either the packaging is bad or the product is really dry. Everybody has pointed this out. But they, it, the product breaks really easily and you can't wind it back down, which I hate. So I would not purchase that. This is the Josie Marin Coconut Watercolor Cheek Gelée in Pink Escape. I scraped it clean as much as I could. I really like these as a cream cheek color blush so this little pot right here is $13 though like you can buy it from Sephora and it does last a while so I might buy a mini again at some point I don't think I don't know if I would ever buy the full size I really like them but they're just expensive so I don't know do I have any other makeup where's the rest of this okay I do have a lip balm this is the Jane Iredell something something just kissed lip and cheek stain in forever peach it scrapes my lips now so i stopped using it and that is the color right there it is a gorgeous color on if i ever get low on lip balms i would purchase one or two of these if they have more than one two colors i probably purchase one in every color because they're really nice and the final makeup -y item that i threw in here is the Becca Evermatte foundation in sand. I have done a first impression on this. I don't know what order they're going up in, but if I have uploaded it, I will link it down below. And I really liked this, but it oxidized on me. However, if I went a couple of shades down to compensate for the little bit of oxidation that happened because so I couldn't see it inside with my lights on or with the mirror or anything when I was outside in my car though I could see it so maybe it's just the wrong shade but either way I really liked this thank you again Ashley for sending this to me so you made another convert of it and the last things I have in here are all perfumes of which I have a lot but yeah let's see have the Nest Citrine fragrance that I got in a Play by Sephora box. 
I liked it, but not enough to purchase. I've got the Catherine Mandur Mandarino style to Paris. Uh, I did really enjoy this. I hate that it didn't have a normal spray bottle, but it does smell really sweet and florally at the same time, and it works just right, so I would possibly think of purchasing that. And I have my mini of the Adelaide Atelier Cologne in Orange Sanguine. I got this in a Play by Sephora box too, and I do really love this. I have a mini spray bottle right now, but one of these days, even though it's so expensive, I might buy a full size. And lastly, for perfumes, I have this weird sample right here. It's like a sample card, but you can, you can spray it. Unfortunately, mine is empty. This is the I Heart Juicy Couture by Juicy Couture. I love all of Juicy Couture's fragrances, at least a little bit. This one was no exception, but it's who knows if I'll ever purchase a full size, and I need to change my battery. Now I have the rest of it. All right. Two things on the top for my husband. He actually puts his empties in my basket now, which is I think is cool. We have the Irish Spring Body Wash. He likes the smell of this, and so do I. And when I can coupon it for really cheap, I get it. And he uses the St. Ives Blemish Control Apricot Scrub in the shower. And he really likes it. The Dollar Tree version isn't any good, but the Equate version is fine. So it just depends on what I'm feeling when I'm or where I'm at. Like if I'm at Target, I don't know if the Up and Up brand is any good, so I buy this. But when I'm at Walmart, I just buy the Equate version. They're both good for scrubby purposes, though. And he knows that though if you use that too much, you can get like little micro tears in his skin. He does not care. So don't try to impart new information on me by telling me that. Not that I don't appreciate you guys' comments for trying to warn me on things. It's just that he knows he does not seem to care. I only use my scrub like twice a week. He uses that literally every time he bathes, so. I have the Clairol Hair Food Sulfur Free Dry Shampoo. This smells amazing. It's with the kiwi fragrance, but it's not powdery enough for my hair, and I know most people complain about powderiness, but the super white powdery ones are what work for me. If you don't like those, this might be worth trying. I think you can get it at Target. I know this came from a Target beauty box that somebody gave me this out of, so. I have a Kula Unscented Matte Tint. I don't like these, they feel a little greasy, but when I'm just wearing sunscreen, I will throw, slap this on. I have a mask. I have a couple of masks, but I'm looking for the top to this. There it is. Now, Ashley told me how to pronounce this. It's the Secret Garden Camellia Oil Ampoule, Ampoule? Maybe. Mask from the brand Sally's Box. Secret, yeah, Sally's Box. There's a two-step system. First you put on the little serum and then before it completely dries, you slap on the mask. I love the packaging on this. Like this little drawing is really cute. This was a little too fragrant and kind of irritated my skin, which I got this from Ipsy. So at least I didn't pay like full price for it. So I still have another one to try, but if that one does the same thing, I wouldn't really recommend these. However, ones that I would recommend that I got from Ipsy are these Shrey ones. This is the Miss Amazing and this is the Queen Bee. This one's for moisturizing. And this one is for acne treatment and redness. I really liked this one. If I ever run out of paper masks, these are some that I would repurchase because they come in like five packs. This one was nice, but moisture is just not, I like, I can get moisture from almost any paper mask. So I don't necessarily have to buy these online to get that. I have a set of makeup wipes. These are from the Dollar Tree. I use these in my makeup basket or box or whatever you want to call it and to remove like swatches on the back of my hand and stuff. These dry really quickly, like not in the pack, they stayed moist all the way throughout. But as soon as you not, as soon as you open it and take it out, the thing dries up really fast. However, for a dollar for back of the hand swatch wipes, they work fine and I have repurchased. I finally finished this. This is the Dollar General Deep Cleansing Pore Strips. These are not as good as the Biore ones. I thought they were, but either they've changed the 
makeup of it or I'm just remember or I remembered too nicely. I had three more in this pack. I think they come with like either six or eight. But even for like $2.49, I would not repurchase. I would rather just buy the Biore ones. I have some nail stickers. Where's the other one? It's like low in here. Yeah. These were crap. They are, I don't think you can even get them anymore. They are the Formula X ASAP 3D nail lacquer techniques. This is, they are really cute because they're like textured in a leopard print, but they tore as soon as I touched them, so I couldn't even use them. These, on the other hand, do last a couple of days. These are the Essie Sleek Stick UV Cured Nail Appliques. You can get these at the Dollar Tree now on a regular basis. Really cute pattern. They lasted me about two days, which is good for me, so they might last longer on you. This is the Croc Madame. Like, instead of the ham sandwich thing, it's Croc Madame. I have the Omika Nourishing Mask Sea Buckthorn Berry um, Mask for hair. I do really like the smell of this, however, the formula I don't think is much different from my Dollar Tree hair mask, so I would not purchase this. I would use more samples, though, happily. I have the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. I thought this was fine, but I didn't think it was anything special, so I would not repurchase. I still really like the John Frieda one. I have a makeup sponge. This is a real technique sponge. I repurchase all the time. I think while they are not as good as the Beauty Blender, they are close enough to make up the difference for the money. So I keep rebuying like two packs of them. I have my Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water, the waterproof version. This was okay, but it didn't take off. I had to do two passes with it to get all of my makeup off, which kind of annoyed me. I want to try the regular one. And I know it's like, well, why would the regular one work better if the waterproof one didn't? This also left a film because it had like a dual phase and you had to shake it up. But I really do want to try the regular one and you get a lot of product for like $7.99 in the States. I have the Japanesque Solid Brush Cleanser. It came in this little pot, it is empty. This is the one that has goat milk in it that I thought it was gonna smell like a goat's butt. But it didn't it did smell really nice this worked really well on like my sponges and everything i went through this really quickly though yeah it still smells good it's like this nice soapy smell but because i went through this so quickly i don't think i would purchase the full size because the full size is 20 dollars. but you know if you get a sample of it from like sephora or whatever and one of those little spend 60 dollars get a bag what things because you can get this at sephora totally use it because it's great but you're gonna go through it fast I have a Body Shop Shea Sugar Scrub. This was better than I remember. I don't know if the Shea one is different, but I used a coconut one before and it was just too creamy. Like it wasn't scrubby enough. This one had a lot more scrub to it. And I do like the Shea scent, but somebody pointed out that the Shea smells like it would be more of a fall scent and it really does. Like I can't describe it, but it definitely feels more warm and cozy versus you know tropical or whatever so i still like my tree hut scrub better but i i actually enjoyed this so not hating on that the garnier ultralight cleansing oil this is really nice this worked out much better than the garnier one that i went through what this earlier this year then the packaging does not leak like there's a tiny bit left in there not enough to use but and I can fling it around and everything and the packaging never leaked on me, which is so awesome. You have no idea. Because the Garnier one leaked everywhere. I have another sunscreen. This is the Kula Cucumber Classic Sunscreen. I hated the smell of this. I would not repurchase. I think Kula is overpriced for what it is anyway. So I have some Walgreens. Studio 35 Beauty Premium Cotton Rounds. These were nice. They were really texturized on one side so you can get a little bit of scrub action on your face. These are like $3.99 though. So I bought a big bag of cotton rounds that have the stitching all around it. I checked for that off of Amazon for like $12.99. And I'm going to see how those are because I get like a 600 count up with those. Which is a much better deal than $3.99 for $80 and I go through these really quickly. I'm almost through my next bag of these because I was in a pinch and Walgreens was like the only place I could go at the time. But 
If I'm in a pinch, I would repurchase those. I just don't want those to be my only one because they're kind of expensive for what they are. This sucked. It broke me out. This is the Wish Renewing Mud Mask. This smelled like the worst old grandma perfume stereotype. I'm sure your grandma smells great. Mine does too. She does not wear bad perfume. But like just that stereotype of nasty old lady perfume. This smelled like the worst thing ever of that. And like I said, it broke me out on top of it. And it only had like one use in it. I got this and a birch box order as a sample, by the way. But it was garbage. I have the Vis Neutrogena Visibly Blight Bright Daily Facial Cleanser. This did the near impossible and kind of dried out my skin. <laughs> I had this in my travel bag forever and I finally used it up the last time I went to my mom's. But it dried out my skin. I don't know how. Nothing dries out my skin, but this managed to dry out my skin. So you are impressive for all the wrong reasons. Let's see if I have that. Way ready brown sugar ready glow exfoliating mask. It came in a little pod, but I threw out the pod and kept the paper. This was just a scrub. Like I used it as a scrub. I didn't even use it as a mask. So I don't know what I think of that because it advertises itself as a mask, but it's not. I have the Paradise Spa Lemon Mint Hand Sanitizer. My sister gave me this last year and I have no idea where she got it from. Dana, if you happen to be watching, please tell me because I can't find it anywhere. And I really like this scent. I would actually repurchase that. I have the Marlowe Men's Shave Gel. This was nice. You can get it at Target. I just like my daily, my dark dollar shave club shave butter a little bit better. But I would purchase that in a pinch. Parlor Detangling Leave-In Conditioner. This was all right, but I would not repurchase. Avon Nail Experts Smooth Beginnings Base Coat. I really like this, but they don't sell this formula anymore, so I can't repurchase. Have the Lancome Energy De V. This is like the lighter than a moisturizer, a little bit more than an essence, so it didn't moisturize my face enough, which was a little surprising. And somebody asked me if this smelled woodsy. See, I'm not really getting woodsy from it. I'm just getting like overly perfumed, and I don't, I didn't like that. And finally, before the minor amount of samples that I have, I don't have a lot this month, but I will have more next month because I am doing sample September. But like, this is all that I have. But fine, before that I have the Laneige Waterbank Serum. I really liked this. I really like their Waterbank line because it's really moisturizing without being heavy. So I might possibly purchase that in the future. I have two more of these Sephora brush wipes. You guys know I really like those. I have this Olay Fresh Effects Swirled Mattifier Redness and Pore Reducing Mattifier. This like tingled weirdly on my skin, so I would not purchase it for that alone, but it did smell really nice. I have the Pureology uh, Cleansing Conditioner. My hair did not feel clean after this. This one. And this one have made me realize that I don't like the concept of cleansing conditioners because my hair does not feel clean afterwards. This is the Living Proof Curl con Conditioning Wash, by the way. So I just don't like these. It's not the product necessarily being bad, or maybe it is, and I should try more. But these two, it made me, if Pureology one's not any good, I don't know if I need to try a drugstore one. But I didn't like how my hair felt after either of these, so I would not purchase that. I had the... Le Coven des Mini Mes Gardener's Hand Cream. The stuff smells amazing. I want to purchase it at some point. You can get it from Ulta. I just dropped something. It can stay on the floor for now. I have the Clinique Even Better Makeup. This was, I wore this on the day that my car broke down in the middle of like almost nowhere. I happened to be at a Sonic, but the town was in the middle of nowhere and surrounded by nothing. So I didn't get to test this properly, but it was too dark. So I can say that much about it. I have a Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. I really like this. It was not too heavy for my skin. The Nivea In Shower Cocoa Butter Body Lotion. I like this. I like these things, but sometimes coconut can get a little overwhelming for me scent-wise. So I'd probably not purchase that. 
I have the Hask Kalahari Melon Oil Color Protection Shampoo and Conditioner. This did not work as good as the other ones that I've tried. It still smelled good. Maybe it smelled bad and it didn't, but it worked the same. I don't know, but some I did not like this for some reason. I just can't quite remember why. I have two of these, but I dropped one on the floor. This is the Benefit Professional Cards. I can get a full use out of this if I just do it like on my nose, my T-zone, and my chin. And I like this product, but I hate the smell, so I would never repurchase again. Plus, the NYX Pore Filler, their primer like this, is the same thing, but it has no bad smell. I bought, I have the other Unohana powder, bath powder that I used on myself this time. And it was really nice and I do love the smell of it. So I might purchase this in the future, both for me and my dogs. I used the one last month to bathe my dogs in and it really helped kind of soothe their skin because they're both just naturally kind of itchy. Like they're not flea ridden, we have stuff for that. So it's not anything like that. And they're not, you know, horribly dirty to the point of just itching to itch. They're just itchy, so and they did it last when I used this. And finally, I have the U Renew All-in-One Built-in Color Protector. I like this. It did leave my hair pretty soft, and it smells a lot like Pantene. I don't know where to get this from, though, so I may or may not try to purchase it in the future. I do have another one of these packets, though. So that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I really appreciate it. I hope this was okay. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.